So I bought this box of hoops on eBay. I got three here plus one that I'm currently soaking in water outside. And um, they were super cheap. It was like 40 bucks for four. So that's $10 per wood hoop, which is about a quarter of what they cost new. Obviously, these things aren't new. Um, you can kind of see they're sort of warped. This one is delaminated. Um, the other one just needs to be re-glued uh, also. But I figure if I can sand them down and uh, sort of straighten them out, you know, get them wet, weight them down, um, I can come up with at least one snare drum's worth of wood hoops. And uh, it's going to cost me way less than just buying the, like, whatever it is, 80 bucks worth of wood hoops that you get when you buy like a Gibraltar wood hoop. So this was the hoop I was soaking. You can see how it's uh, not attached here on the edge. Um, it just needs to be glued, which I have wood glue. And so I figure I'm going to use this existing metal rim to make sure that I get a round flat result. Okay, so I have it clamped up. Uh, fitted with the metal hoop just to keep it round and I have this jack stand on it on a relatively level concrete floor in the hopes that when it's done it will a hold together and b be round and flat. Okay I had to re clamp this a, a second time just because it wasn't quite working but uh, now it's dry for the second time so I'll take it to the clamps off and see how it works. Okay, success. It is round and holding together on its own. So now I'm working on this white hoop. You can see um, it's in good condition, but it's quite literally not in good shape. It's warped. You can probably see that. Um, so I'm trying to take the paint off with this sanding disc here. I didn't want to actually use the power sander for fear of just taking off too much wood. Um, so I took the disc off of it. And I'm just going to try and take down the white paint so that I'm going to use like boiling water and uh, try to get this real soft and then I'll jam it back into these hoops like I did that other one and see if I can get it to be straight um, when it dries. So basically in order to straighten out this uh, hoop I've got um, jack stands and like 35 pound weight and you know, two hoops. I'll take it out of there we'll see if it worked. Okay, so it kind of worked. You can see this hoop is essentially the same as this other one was before. So that's the before um, massive warp to it. And this is the after. Still, you can kind of tell has a bit of warp to it, but I've straightened it out significantly. So what I might do is repeat the process, and see if I can get it a little straighter on the second try. So after the second round of uh, getting it hot and wet and putting it in between two metal hoops, it is straighter than it was even after the first time, so that's a good sign. But as you can see, I've got a lot of clamps on it because um, a lot of the plies started to open up. So apparently getting it hot and wet kind of messed with the glue that holds the plies together. So this is maybe one of three or four rounds of clamping I have to do because as you can see, used all my vice grips and all my clamps and um, uh, I'm not even close to the amount of uh, ply problems I'm having. All right, so it took me like five rounds of clamping, which is uh, you know, 10 clamps, so 50 clamps around here to get the um, plies back together with some glue. But here is the relatively finished product. Um, obviously, it still has a little bit of paint in the grain and some spots. Um, I had a really hard time getting that out without like completely sanding down and like really losing mass off of the rim. So it looks a little funky. I put some coconut oil on it to kind of uh, keep it moist because um, I live in Colorado and it's dry here. Here together is the uh, snare side hoop that I put back together. It wasn't even a circle. And here is the batter side hoop that I took the finish off of glued back together, straightened out with um, boiling water and clamps, and now I have one drum's full set worth. So here I have this kid's bass drum. You can see that, that it's held on with 
The hoop is held on with claws, um, just like a real bass drum, but this is 14 inch diameter. So I'm going to take these claws and I'm going to put it on this drum and this should work out, except that this drum only has six lugs and this drum has eight lugs, so I'm like uh, four claws short overall. Darn, guess I'm going to the drum store. Okay, after taking a trip to the drum store to buy some tension rods and a couple extra claws, um, I have finished and assembled the vintage wood hoops on modern Mapex M-Series snare drum project. So, I spent like $30 at the store on hardware, um, which I could have gotten it cheaper online, but then it would have paid shipping and it would have come out to be like the same anyway. So any savings would be negated. Um, so I spent, this is two of the four hoops that I bought for 40 bucks. So this is $20 worth of hoops and about $30 worth of new hardware. Um, so it's about a $50 project. And of course, um, if you get the bare minimum cheapest wood hoops online, they're like $35. So that would be $70. If you get like good ones, they're more like 45 or 50. Um, or even up to 55 so it could have been up to $110 for wood hoops and I only spent about 50 so I definitely am still ahead on against you know buying new ones which would have been like a thousand times easier literally but that wouldn't have been any fun and I wouldn't have made a video about it so anyway I'm going to tune this thing up because right now it's just sort of barely held together and then um, surprisingly enough maybe uh, I have the same drum over here with the original stock hoops on it. We're going to find out what they sound like. Okay, so here on the left we have the original uh, Mapex hoops that came on it. They're regular triple flanged um, metal. And then on the right here we have the wood hoops that I just refurbished. Um, they are tuned to roughly the same pitch. Um, believe it or not, they're not going to sound that way. But they are tuned to the same pitch. Um, so we'll just test the difference here. Okay, so in the end, um, I think the wood hoops give a fatter sound. Uh, I can definitely tell the difference in rim clicks, which I didn't test, but too late now. And uh, overall, it holds together pretty well. My like hack job of a refurbish on these rims actually worked. What do you guys think?